Mommy gang, welcome to Go Mommy Fitness. I am Shakita, and this video is all about me quitting my job. So, let's get into it. Sorry, y'all. I was hungry. I ain't ate. I grabbed some chips and salsa real quick to try to get something down, get some water. I ain't gonna eat them all here. All right, so let's get into it. So y'all, <clears throat> I have been gone for a while. And um, the last video you may have seen was my hospital admission uh, video when I talked about my experience of being in the hospital for a week and not being well and kind of the revelations that came with that. That was back in November. And since then, I have been focusing on um, getting strong again, um, being healthy and being well, um, no stress, and um, just trying to figure out what it is I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna move forward from here and sitting with God and listening and trying to discern what I should be doing next. And something that was downloaded into my spirit was to pursue Go Mommy Fitness full time. So in November, um, or was it like the first week of December? It may have been like the first week of December. That is what I decided to do. So um, at this time, I was out of work on FMLA due to my hospital admission. So while I was working, off, the first thing I had to do was get my energy. Um, it took me a really long time to feel like myself again, just from that one week of being down. Um, it took me, it, this happened around November 10th-ish. And I wanna say it took me until about January to um, start feeling like myself. And then when I started to work out again, I would realize that I'm not. Uh, so it took now, it's February. I can get through my workouts, but at first it was really difficult. I had to be really gentle with my body and just give it time. And now I'm okay. But um, around December, I decided that that's what I was going to do. So the first thing I did was um, just loved on my body and gave it time to heal and to rid everything that was pumped into it in the hospital. And, um, I was starting to eat. Well, I really, I couldn't eat a lot. So I ate a lot. I drank a lot of smoothies. Um, I drank a lot of smoothies and I ate like oranges. Like that's all my body wanted was fruit. So I, I did smoothies and I did oranges and I think that was really it. And then I started incorporating um, more as time went on. And um, <clears throat> Just worked on that and as i'm starting to gain my strength i'm like okay we're, we're gonna pursue this full time what are we gonna do so one of the first things i did and let me tell y'all something when you settle into obedience and you listen and you determine this is what has been told to me and this is what i'm gonna do things will start coming to you so what started coming to me was things that I needed for the business. So one of the first things that I was able to do was get a business coach. And she really changed the game for me. Um, she audited everything I've been doing. She taught me a lot. And it's really changed my strategy and my mindset and everything. Um, I've met people and I've been placed in rooms where I didn't know I belonged in until I got there. And um, I've had opportunities to speak. I've had opportunities to be a vendor at several events. Um, I have clients. So many things have changed since deciding to pursue this full time. And I'm seeing um, 
the fruits of that decision and the fruits of that labor. Now, everything isn't, isn't great. Um, there are struggles and there are things that you think about. Um, I don't want to say worry about because I'm not worried because I was told this is what I needed to do. But there are things that you are kind of like, huh, so I wonder, you know, how this is going to happen and, and what's going to happen with that and how is this going to be taken care of? But I can't focus on that. Um, so a lot of things have happened. I've met a lot of great people and um, I've networked a lot. I've put myself out there a whole lot. Y'all, the speaking engagements blow my mind because I am growing out of that shy person who just wants to be in the background and to see how it affects others and, and how people can relate to your testimony or to what you do. Um, it's been really dope. So um, I've got a lot coming up a lot more networking more events more speaking engagements and just more service that's the main thing my heart posture is to really help and i want to help those who are ready to receive help who are ready to make changes and who who don't know where to start or who don't know how to continue or who feel like they don't have the time this is who I'm here for, and um, I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I've met some amazing people in my clients, and when they share their stories with me, um, the relatability comes out, and it's it's just all connected, and it's all been so dope and amazing. And um, to see them change, and the the biggest or the most exciting part for me is to see the mental changes, like how good they feel, um, how excited they are, and um, how happy they are when they notice the inches or the pounds coming off or their energy level. Um, they're sleeping better. So just bearing witness to their dedication and their changes and how excited they are man, that is such a gift. And I'm so grateful for it. It's a lot of work. Um, social media definitely glamorizes entrepreneurial life and it is not glamorous whatsoever. It's a lot of hard work. It's 24 seven. Your brain never shuts off. You're constantly thinking of ways to improve, to, to grow, to get better, to reach more people. Um, you're constantly thinking of ways to, um, I don't want to say make money because money, I'm not driven by the money, but you need money to live. So you're constantly thinking of revenue. You're constantly thinking of what you're putting out. Um, and when you're a one man team, you're a one man team. Like you provide the service, you do the marketing, you do the accounts and billing, um, you it's a lot you literally think of everything from a to z it's a lot of decisions um and it's a lot of second guessing yourself and it also brings up things in you that need to be uprooted so it it exposes you to any insecurity um it exposes you to um any lie that you believe about yourself it it just grows you in a way that nothing else can. And um, so seeing my own growth has been super dope too. And to feel the change and to feel me getting better and to feel my spirit excited about it, it's been crazy. And um, I don't know what God has for me. I don't know what is in the plans. I'm just putting one foot in front of the other and I'm just uh, walking by faith um, and doing what I got to do every day. And as each day goes, I recognize the flaws in my workflow. So I recognize gaps in time that need to be filled with something that I need to do. I'm starting to, the more people that I meet, 
the more people that I communicate with that don't sign up or the people that I network with, it's an opportunity for me to get better. How could I have handled that conversation better? Could I have listened better? Um, I don't want to say could I have sold the program better, um, but that's something that you think about too. Is It's just all opportunities for growth and um, I'm really proud I'm really proud of where I am in this short amount of time. And as far as me quitting, um, it was just a high stress job. And I've been there for three years and the entire three years was just high level stress. It was no break in the stress. Um, the entire three years it was understaffed. Um, it was rough. It was rough and I had gotten to the point where I was starting to feel like um, anxiety. My chest would get tight when I think about having to go to work and just dealing with the stress and the constant changes and you never feel settled. And so while I'm out on FMLA, I'm still like, okay, you know, you got bills. What are you going to do? Um saying I've said to everybody I'm not going back to work and I was settled in that but still I knew I didn't have the final so home. yeah y'all severely understaffed and um I just I could not take it anymore and um even though I had that instruction I still knew I had plenty of time to officially do it and I had ended up speaking to my manager the weekend uh, right before I was supposed to return. So I was supposed to return on a Monday and I had spoken to her on a Friday. And um, I, it was after I got off the phone with her, it, my chest was getting tight and I was like, you know, I can't, I can't give them this anymore. I can't work from home, but I still have no work-life balance. I can't. Not I can't, I won't. I won't do this. I will not be working at a place where I don't have work-life balance. I will not be stressed. And my chest will not be tight. I will not be dealing with anxiety. And um, I will not be working and it be understaffed. And I'm not getting paid any extra. Um, I just won't. I just want well, I'm done. I'm done with the stress. I was done with it. Um, that I feel like that was a large part of why I ended up in the hospital anyway. Just the stress and the shuffle every day. And I was not willing to do it anymore. And um, so the day that I was supposed to report back to work, I just called and I was like, you know, I I can't do this anymore. I cannot work in these conditions and at this point i just gotta do what's best for me and i gotta i gotta leave this where it is and um she told me okay and you know she wished me well um i packed up my equipment yes that was today today's thursday i packed up the equipment laptop the monitors cords everything and I shifted off. So I will insert, a, I took a picture of that moment. I will insert a picture. Of that. But when I did that, I was choking up a little bit because I'm so proud of myself and I'm not going back. Like this is it. This is life. And I'm not going to be anybody's employee ever again. Um, so this is life. Go Mommy Fitness is my life now. And I'm already starting to see the growth and it's taking off. And um, it's going to be more to come. So I can't wait to share with you guys um, everything that I'm doing. So now that I've taken that time to kind of build up to that point of actually quitting. Um, I'm getting back into the routine of recording. So I will be taking y'all with me when I'm at events 
in speaking or if I'm a vendor, um, I will I protect my client's privacy. So you will not see them unless they give me permission to do so. I do not record them while they are working out. This is their own personal journeys and experience and I want them to be comfortable in it. So you will not see them unless we are doing some sort of wellness event and we are not working out and we're having a good time, then maybe. But other than that, I won't show them um, I just, I like to create a safe space for everybody where they could just come and be comfortable. If they are cool with before and afters, we do before and afters, but I still don't show their face. Um, only if they tag me on social media, I'll repost, but other than that, I protect privacy over here. So you won't see that, but, um, you will see everything else around Go Mommy Fitness. And also I will be sharing my knowledge in hopes to help you too. So it'll definitely be uh, free content here for you, for those who need it. And that is it. That's my story, my quick update. We are officially entrepreneurs. Oh, oh. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, I want to say thank you guys for all the love and all the support. And oh, I just realized I ain't even sent no January newsletter to all my email subscribers. I'm so sorry. Probably going to start this month in February, restart it. I don't know how I forgot that, but happy new year. Um, I hope your new year has been great so far. Please stick to your new year's resolutions. Um, hit me up if you need some assistance. I'm here. Um, but we're back in the flow of things. So I just wanted to update you. Thank you again for your love, your support, your likes, your comments, the subscriptions to the channel. Thank you for sharing my content. Thank you for referring me to others, anything and everything that you do to support me at Go Mommy Fitness. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for rooting for me. That is all for me today. As always, I love you guys. And in the meantime, go mommy.